Hey. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Me, me too. What's Thank happening you. in your world since we last spoke? Well, we did a hub factor yesterday. Uh huh. And so I'm because I'm the promoter. So I've been like texting the people that attended, just getting feedback. We had a naturopathic doctor. We had a pastor. They drove an hour to come. Wow. We had a, um, my friend Sheila, who we're using as a kind of nugget, something like um, Bonnie, Christy's mom. And we brought a woman from mental health. She worked in as a continuous care aide, but she come in from the mental health perspective. She told, she, she went for lunch with my friend Sheila after, and she goes, I have never in my entire life experienced something so amazing. Like, so, so this woman works in mental health. She allows herself to get very, you know, you know how you are with the forest and the trees. She's like that in mental health. She's seeing a 17 year old being taken back to BC and all she wants to do is stay here and da da da. And there's nothing you can do. So I said, like she was getting herself and you know what card she pulled? She pulled advocacy uh -huh. as one of her cards and she pulled safety. Oh, and wow. it just, <laughs> Elijah, every single person that was there, Emmanuel was there. And then he brought his student, like he's got a student that he's, um, what do you call it? Uh, mentoring, I guess you want to say. Yeah. And guess what? The kid came with him. He, Emmanuel texted me, said, is it okay if I bring Nathan? I go, yeah. And I know Nathan. I know his mom and dad. This kid pulled out the word mentorship for one of his cards. <laughs> like, it was crazy. And then Guy, the pastor, who's a type four in the Enneagram, as you are, he says, you know, and never, never forget. He says, I still go to people as mentors to me, he said, because, because just because you're young and you're utilizing mentors, we need to be mentees, mentees or mentors. And you guys need mentees. But so mentorship came up big yesterday. So I don't know if we start like kind of bringing in, I get too excited. So just get me to halt a little bit. So mentorship to me came up yesterday as a very big deal. And that's needed in so many aspects of life, whether we're old, young, whatever we are. So my friend, Sheila, who is a, she has a little shop downtown, but she's selling the business and she does drug and alcohol testing. Like that's her that's what she does. She's brilliant and she's a beautiful soul. Now, what she's seeing is she's doing a lot of work with social services. She works with big corporations as well because the railroads are always sending their guys on a whim to go get tested so they're not using drugs. You know what she said yesterday? She goes, that's my cover story. Like she knows what she's doing is way bigger than just doing drug testing. Because she's starting to build relationships. She had a First Nations couple in, the guy was in. His wife is an electrician who went back to school. She just graduated as, social, as a social worker. Blonde-haired, blue-eyed, Native girl. And she wants to go back to the reserve she lived on as a little girl and work with them. So Sheila's explaining this process and he's going, oh my goodness. This is just unbelievable. But she didn't know how to market it for us. So that, so there's that part. So her friend, Cindy, who works in mental health said she's never been through a process like, like that ever in her life. And it, she says, I've never felt so free to talk about what I want to do in my life. And the only reason she showed up is because my buddy Guy, who's the pastor, his, she's his wife's best friend. Mm. So he knows, you know, the people that need to connect in for what they do in their life and how the difference they'll make. So the naturopathic doctor who's a type three, his name is Node Smith. He's a type three in the Enneagram. He, he looked at the shared knowledge community map. I, after everything was said and done, they stayed for lunch. And I had the map sitting on the table. And I said to him, look at it. And he went like this. I will, I will totally demonstrate. He went like this, Elijah. He went so big. And he stopped. And then I turned it upside down because I said, Node. It is very big. And I go, remember Elijah, you said to me, Lori, like most people are just getting introduced to this. I've been doing this for how long and I've been able to do it. 
And my seven gets excited in me and it can become overbearing for people. Yeah. So I found that yesterday with Node and I realized he doesn't want to work just one-on-one -on -one with clients. He wants to work with groups. So he's already looking like we're saying to him and his wife are both naturopathic doctors. <clears throat> he's got a five-step plan. And I said, so can we sit down with you and brainstorm and see if that can be turned into a seven step, nine step, something like that. Because he paid a lot of money for the back office from America. He paid a ton of money for the program that he, the back office. And I said, so I'm on that program node and I go on and I'm listening to some chick and some guy from who knows where. I said, why is that not you and your wife making those talking? Because he knows, he knows that there's going to be a big amount of clients in Saskatchewan. So he's already looking at once a month coming here and doing a small workshop. Ah, very yeah. nice. So I took him through the whole building. He couldn't believe it. Awesome. So, and, and then for him to see clients privately, while well, there's spots all over upstairs. So we're already moving the, there's a coach up there. We're already moving her out of her space so that when you get here, you've got your space up there. And, and then outside the office that you would have is a big old yoga room. It's, it's right. the old yoga studio. So. so that's already getting moved because we have a tenant moving out. She decided she bought a little house and she's just going to run her classes out of this little house in a small town. So I'm going. Like, so. so that was a little experience, a big experience, just from what happened yesterday. That was so powerful. So I think once we can get this, like going through this and the young doctor, like you and I did this last time, Yeah. But this young doctor, he's a type three in the Enneagram. His wife is a type five. So this stuff totally intrigues him. And I said, so what we've done with Elijah is we have, he's taken it so that we can take it into organizations, teams, businesses, whatever we want to and work with this. So I love the Enneagram work. I'm realizing if we went into a team and there was eight staff or 50 staff, I would want all of their Enneagram types and just go through a basic something with them. For sure. And then we would build off of that. For sure. So health comes in, everything. But you know where he put himself on the shared knowledge community? He walked right over to it and he got, whoa, this is big. And he pointed right to the center facilitator. Oh, really? He went right to the facilitator. He didn't look at health. He didn't look at entrepreneur. He didn't even look at coaching. He went right to facilitator. So like someone was guiding him. Wow. I know. Do you it's, know, just a little side thing. I think if you uh, sort of like get square photos, frame photos of the four of you and have a wall of like, mem like have a wall of member, member wall kind of thing. And then <gasps> that wall. Uh -huh. So as people per start participating, they go on the wall as a big sort of like, now you're. Oh my. And we start with us four. Yeah. And then, so I think Elijah, where we need the help. And this is something we were just having a meeting, Sylvia and I and, and Christy as well this morning. And she's a mortgage broker. Yes. But if you're not selling a mortgage, Elijah, you're not making any money. Right. So she's kind of in a little bit of a panic mode. So I go, okay. So now we're helping her create a workshop so she can inform people. I said, but you're not just here to educate. You've got to start building clients. So you've got it. She goes, all these people that have been referred to me or that are coming to me lately, they're, they're, she's not able to place their business. Huh. So I said, people need to come to you first, not after they've been to the bank. They're coming to you first because they know what you're giving them. Right. And I said, so you've got to put P-R-O-F-I-T first. And then allow the P-R-O-P-H-E-T to fall into place by doing these workshops. <laughs> like that's how we're going to get our minds working, Elijah. We need to go P-R-O-F-I-T. The more freaking money Elijah, Lori, Christy, Carrie, Sylvia, we can all make, the bigger difference we can make in the world. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a really good idea. We talked about, I'm just going to take you on a one quick tour and then we'll get back in here. But okay. we talked about this wall. Look at how empty. Look uh, at this wall. Oh. Is empty. I'm taking a large on a tour. Yeah. So I love it. He talked, I just want to put it in your ear. He talked about a member wall. Can we start with our qualifying member? 
I know. We said, what are we doing? See? Wave. Wave. Wendy. So, you know it's really appealing. Did you hear what she said? What did she say? I, I didn't hear that. What? Oh. oh, how come you didn't wear a hat like that for me? Was I not good enough to get dressed up for? <laughs> you should see what other costumes I have next time. <laughs> next time you I'm wait till next time. Costume. Hello. Hello. How are you? Excellent. Look. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> so see, she's just wrapping on paper, which is great because you can pull that out anytime. Most a lot of millionaires have made money with businesses ideas on napkins. For sure. So we need a picture of that. That's powerful. But we do have math, but we want to do roughs and then people want to come and go, oh my God, this is magic. Now okay, let's have a warm up. We, Eliza, on that wall, on one of our walls, why couldn't we put this up? And why couldn't we have sticky cards that people write their values in with the dry eraser and we physically do it on the wall with them? Yeah. Right there. Why couldn't that be? Because that's a big, this yeah. map is big. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I Which think map that's are you gonna the one. What's the one called map. that we did yesterday? The flow map. The flow map. Yeah. 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 I mean, if if I was there, I'd be painting all your walls. Well, you, you'd be. It's taking you so long. <laughs> well, there, well, there's this. There's a few blocks in the way. There's. There, there, there. Well, I, travel restrictions in BC, yeah. and. Uh, you know, but if you're coming and you're not going back for a while, exactly. would it matter if you were coming no, to be I mean, there I, for a while? I would, I would, I would uh, go through the, the checkpoints. Yeah. Once, yeah. once it's set up, once everything's set up right, I'll come out. Show you magical the stuff that's happening. And, well, oh, did you have one more thing? Time. So I got, I had two financial things happen yesterday that I wasn't anticipating. So uh -huh. now I'm really happy I have my two, my organizer mm -hmm. and my um, promoter. I, I like, as of May, I have no more income unless I create income. <laughs> yeah. Nothing so, like a session so with Captain Sweep to get you going. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a dis nothing like what? A session with Captain Sweep to help you get going. <laughs> but you must have aligned the universe. So after I left, that they put a fire under my butt because the revenue streams I had coming in are just done. Uh huh. Well, that's the way the universe works. <laughs> so now I'm like, I really got to live out this idea that I truly believe and that beaver dam breaking apart. I feel like it got shattered yesterday. So I'm now sorry. I'm just in that yeah. open. He was talking about the member wall yeah. and our, our yeah. four founders on there. Okay. Well, how big will they be? Stuff like that. And then he said, as people come in, their picture gets on there as a member. Awesome. I think yeah. that's excellent. And people walk in, look, if they're a member, they're a member. And then it starts telling people who's involved yeah. in what we do. But Maybe. Circle we were going to mainly be in, whichever that is, could we not? It'll be our founding four, and we could write that underneath. Could it not be here? And then as we bring in our 12, their faces go on here. And then, but they're big enough that as they build their community, people can fit in there. Could we not do something like that on our wall? So it really ties this map together. Oh, what do you think? I like it. I do too. That's what I And then we get Elijah, you, yeah, you in here. <laughs> I can't hear anything for some reason. You need to mentor my 10 year old. He's an originator. Oh, is he already? And he's very, oh, he goes into a situation 
like he'll play video games with his brother and his dad. He watches it. And then after 30 minutes, he already knows what he needs to do. And he's better than anybody else. That's Keaton. So he, when I was th and thinking about it, because we're talking about a kid's program and, and I have an idea how we'll do that. So I'll tell you after you've got that garden space out back. I think that's our program for the kids that they grow something because we're going to do a kid's program awesome. and have them each working with nine And then what's going to happen is they're going to create something that we take This is one week course. So if we start or they build a product that each of them would utilize their roles in this case. So they understand the value that they bring in that capacity. And then we, then they can change the world because they already know how they fit. Because I was looking at my three kids. I have an artist, I have an originator, and I have a uh, tech guru. I don't know where Jack fits yet. He's, I wonder if he wouldn't be here. Yeah, because he, he's amazing with animals. He can just, anyway, you need your time. So my friend Sheila, she was talking today. She's not renting her farmland out. She has a bit of farmland. She's not renting it out anymore because they use chemical. Uh -huh. She's going to find a person that raised, raised, I don't know what it's called, a beehive person. Uh -huh. And she wants, bee, she wants beehives. Mm -hmm. there you go there you go so that's what she wants to do and i said sheila you fit in the planetary guardian she goes what's that i just got shivers in my whole body <laughs> i'm eating a cookie I'm, i i don't eat sugar really anymore but carrie's little or christy's little girl we facetimed her and said i heard you make cookies how much do you charge well i think about five dollars a dozen my dad and i are starting a business when i turned 12. I said, well, I'd like to have a couple orders now. She did up the little packets, but she called me back and she says, you know, I had a conversation with my dad and I think it has to be $10. I go, good for you. So I'm doing her a little thank you card and putting $30 in a card oh, for her. Wow. Yeah, because she just, and she knew everything. Like she threw out that $5, like nothing. She didn't hesitate. She didn't anything. So her and her dad, who's a Red Seal chef, made batches of cookies on the weekend and they were brought to me yesterday what about like a, an after school entrepreneurs program uh -huh. that mm -hmm. teaches the basics of how to how to set up your own business but starts with the values and uh set up a bit of a program a drop-in center kind of thing mm -hmm. and me and I, I was thinking about that today in a drop-in center kind of like yeah. You know, for the kids, if their parents, you know, sort of like make under 50 grand a year or something like that, yeah. there's no charge. And then everyone else might be $5 drop in mm -hmm. you know, $10, you know, depends on, on where they're at kind of thing. Yeah. And then, you know, each of you, you know, depending on, you know, who wants to run that, you know, there might be someone out there who wants to run the program. Right. Right. Or, and then each of you kind of acts as a mentor in a different way, but you have, Maybe some someone like like Kaylee or uh, someone like Kaylee mm -hmm. who wants to work with youth. Oh, Maybe already working with youth in a sense, but this would be, you mm -hmm. know, I think if you have you did you do your homework in terms of your ideal job on the maps? I have I haven't completely done it. Like we're I've got things written down, kind of what it could look like. But Sylvia and I haven't even had a chance to go through it yet. Okay. We're okay. kind of busy creating a program for our financial once a month financial luncheon. So we've been kind of giving her with that stuff. Okay. But we're working on it. So um, I got the big ring, big ring binder already. Okay. And I've got the dividers. Now it's just to start putting the pieces that I have. Because a lot of it, Elijah, I have all the pieces. Yes. I just need to put it together. Yes. Okay. okay, so you got the binder. Excellent. You got yeah. the dividers. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, I didn't send you money yet, though. I've got a little note on here. Send Elijah 400 bucks, and I don't think I did. Did I? Okay. And could you ask I'll... Christy and, and uh, mm -hmm. um, I forgot her name. Sylvia and Carrie? Sylvia has, but Carrie hasn't. So if you okay. could ask the other two, that'd be great. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay. I like the idea, like, I guess you're speaking to the promoter right now. Yeah. So it's like, this after school program, I know when I raised my grandson, he's 21 now, Taekwondo is right next door to my office. 
Uh, and it cost me, I'm going to say 250 a month what? for him to go to Taekwondo. They picked him up from school and they brought him. Now, it wasn't a daycare. It was literally learning discipline through Taekwondo. So I go, that's brilliant. Mm. Like, why could, I mean, we're just going to start with a summer program, but this after school program starting in September, I think the summer program we're going to do is going to guide us to doing an after school program. And I think you, you're right. All entrepreneurship. And then where do they fit in and how can they be a team? And they actually come after school and they develop something. So yeah. it gives them a feeling of accomplishment, right? For sure. Christy's got it. She just said it. And Carrie doesn't know it yet, but we'll be creating some kind of new school. And Carrie's got the certificate saying she's a principal. She's got her, her master's in education. So you know how the world is today. It, it's because they have a certificate on the wall. They're more value. Right. But it's not true. But it, we need it for now. Right. Okay. So where are you at in your breakdown of the, of the dividing into four for each one? Okay, so what I've done, I've, I said a nine month program and that's for now, I'm saying it's a nine month program. I'm gonna start out with three months and do it in increments of three months, just so people can get a feel of it and be comfortable. Because when you say to someone, I want you to come on for nine months, that's a long time for a lot of people. Okay. So I'm gonna start like as a three month and then every, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking pulling parts of the Enneagram personality. Cause to me, that's a start right off the bat is the personality. So then I'm pulling all the pieces that I have and that people might want to know about the type one, the type two, the type three, and they're going to get it. And it's going to focus just on their core type, not the whole thing, just their core type and give them a little guidance. Then they learn their core type then it starts evolving into a wing and a growth line and stuff. And then, and then from there, we go, do you ever wonder how your personality is in, impacting your cash flow and the money decisions that you're making and stuff like that? Okay. So I've looked, I wrote down, like I want to do a video on something like that. So when people do the test, then all of a sudden I'm talking to them saying, so, so you're type four. Did you realize that do you ever feel like Blah, 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 blah. So I've got these things written down about some of the challenges and the good things about type four in the world of money. Okay. This money from fear to love is fabulous. It's a fabulous book. So that's where I'm going to start because I'm finding people are burying their heads in the sand around money. And I think if we bring them in, instead of saying, you're coming in to do a whole money assessment. I think if we bring them in on personality, discover your type. Mm. And then from there, figure out, oh, it's finances, it's relationships, it's career. And then it guides me. That'll be my fish line. And then we go, oh, okay. They see the nine different areas of life, which is relationships and all that. I've got a map for my class tonight. I'm teaching Habitat for Humanity Families. Now they're asking if we can do Zoom because some of them can't come because they've been exposed to COVID. Okay. So that's a freebie. That's my philanthropic thing. But it's like, and then we've got a wheel of nine parts of your life that they go, okay, then they fill that out and they go in one to five, how's your real intimate relationship? One to five, how is your finances? One to five, how's your career? And they start really focusing on that. And then they make the circle and they see how lopsided that circle is. And then we go, okay, what do you want to work on? And that gives them an easy in for what it is we feel they need instead of me telling them this is what you need. I'm going to know, but I don't want to do it that way, Elijah. I want to almost empower them into stepping into where they feel they need guidance. Okay. And, you know, most of it is with self. Right. Majority of it is with self. But nobody's going to come and say, I need this. So you're going to need to make nine videos each yep. one expressing um, their relationship with money in a sense. Mm -hmm. so that'd be great on YouTube to get clients too once you uh, yes. have those up to see yep. yourself positioned as the money expert within the Enneagram profile. You got it. That's it. Thank you. How can we just put these words together so simple? 
I, so nine videos. How long do you think? Like, what's a timeline for a video and keeping people's attention? I don't know. I, I think sometimes, I, I mean, three minutes just popped into mind okay. for, okay. Um, I think if you did a really good download in three minutes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Something short and sweet kind of thing. And so that, I'll talk to that's, them. Your, that's your first round kind of, I mean, you can maybe do 10 or 20 minute videos down the road, but in the beginning, yeah. I mean, you have to make nine videos and, and three minutes is sort of like succinct, right? You want to like, there's all these different parts that you want to sort of go through. Like what's the biggest fear? What's the biggest um, block? What's the greatest, yeah. uh, all the different parts that you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your biggest success in, in the type of personality you are? And honestly, like it's got there and then there's just a, a statement about each of the nine types. And when you look at it, you go, like that's a good way to start. They look at nine statements mm -hmm. and they go, oh my God, this is so me. Cause you know, everybody knows. So I, I'll, I'll even start, like we wanna do something on Facebook and link it into our website where they go, what discover your type and we give them a few questions and they press a button. You know how on Facebook you can get that thing and it says, what's your bottle of wine say? Mm -hmm. Or who's the person that's passed on that's with you all the time? People thrive on those things. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of just triggering that interest. What could be a, a sort of like a, like let's say a, a, a free seminar as you do, you do every two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be free, let's say $10 or so, something low cost. Yeah. That could sort of get you used to the restriction, right? But let's say uh, 10 people, uh, you do a one hour seminar seminar mm -hmm. on personality types and money mm. where, where you find it where like you you give the talk it's a one hour download uh, you film it um, and each week you get better and and you just that's where you're introducing new people into the program kind of thing You, like you say, free or 10 bucks, like what's 10 yeah. bucks? Yeah, like let's say $10, let's say what, something not that. Yeah, let's say uh, 10 bucks. Off, but it gets, it gets them in the door. Yeah. And I think that each of you yeah. need to have something like that, where each is sort of teaching a seminar and being paid for it. And uh, it introduces to the rest of your programs. Yeah. You need beginning. So here's, here's what we're going to do with the hub factor. Because we realized, my friend Sheila says to me, this is awesome that you're doing this. But she goes, I'm seeing that I've been there now and I haven't paid. How are you guys making money? So I said to her, you know what we could do? We could say it's $10 or 20 if you want to stay for lunch. Because we're finding people want to hang out for a while. So we just put it out at that number and they go, well, I can't stay for lunch, but I'll pay the 10 bucks. Right. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Because even that, if you figured out, like yesterday we had eight people, that would have been $80. Yeah. Right. For sure. Okay. And I mean, I had said $20, but I mean, what, yeah. what I was thinking is sometimes you need like your, your intro yeah. where people just come in there once and that starts that what you're doing is getting the ball rolling, but mm -hmm. essentially you could have 12 different hub factors mm -hmm. going yeah. all the time where like, if you liked it once now come weekly, and now you're, 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 it's a mastermind group, right? And then they say, come for 10 and it's cost this much, almost like a punch card type of thing. Exactly. Okay. So people that have come once, we could do an invitation to them saying, now we want to offer you. And because it does, it, it, as a, as a group, like you say, a mastermind group, it really does help people elevate to where they want to be. Yeah. And so there you could have, again, like $20 at two hour session. Yeah. Um, and then each of you is, uh, and, and at some point it's kind of like, these are the entrepreneurs and here's the healers. Right. Like, like, like to me, I would invite, you know, I would try to get like eight people sitting at the table, eight healers, invite yeah. 20 healers, yeah. phone them up. You know, I, I, I'm not so sure emails and videos work so much, but I know you have to call them. Yeah. You can cold call and then like, just see what it takes to sort of like, you know, maybe in an hour, you yeah. could get 10 to 20 people. I mean, you could oh. make 10 or 20 phone calls and get eight people coming. Like, what, what's there to do in Yorkton? I mean, the what is there? There's nothing. 
So, I mean, you want to be the place in Yorkton that yeah. people are always going, yeah. oh, they're coming up with yeah. new stuff. And yeah, they're rotating through here because they're loving it so much. So yeah. that's a really good idea. So they've been here their first time coming. It, it's just an, ex it's an experience with no cost. Yeah. And then they get a feel of it. Then we go, okay, now because you've been here, we want to offer you 10 sessions for X amount of dollars. Yeah. 100 bucks. Yeah. Or okay. whatever. Or, or it could be, I mean, you could have still drop ins. Um, yeah, and drop ins. Where, yeah. where, but you got to think of like, okay, so then let's say Thursday mornings at 10 yeah. is the paid version. And you just keep on trying to fill it up until you have like eight or 12 or whatever people. And then you filled that up and now that's going and now you do now you're trying to fill up another time slot so you just well, we know we have to do evening people have asked already for evening because they okay. can't come during the day okay yeah so we know that has to happen so like and, i, and I then, know mm -hmm. well just thinking that so the four of you like depending upon who wants to facilitate a hub factor that you know each of you might at some point within your ideal job yeah each of you is facilitating a full team once a week. Oh, that would be great. And then, you know, if there actually was 12 people and it's 240 bucks, yeah. um, 40 could go to the hub factor, 200 could go to the facilitator. And that's yeah. pretty decent, you know, hundred an hour, that's a hundred an hour. Exactly. So that's what you're aiming at. So if you're looking at your ideal being, you know, 12 might be a bit much unless you get my 12 people might even be three hours. And, and I tell you, like, once people get into it, it's not a long period of time. Like, they actually. No. no. Um, That's what Sheila said yesterday. Like, the first time we did it, we kept it to an hour and a half. Yesterday was almost three hours, and we had like 12 people. Oh. But we didn't participate. Like, right. Christy did after she did her own, they participate, her and Sylvia, in feedback. Yeah. And oh, this is what I see and what those cards say. But um, it took like every person, Christy averaged eight to 10 minutes per person because yeah. people just want to be able to talk. So you're yeah. right. We have to allow that time. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why I sort of put it to three hour session times yeah. of yeah. looking at if you can sort of start and end. And then, you know, again, if you're looking right now, you got all this free time, but at some point you're going to be very scheduled. Yeah. Like every yeah. hour is going to be, you know, tickety boo about what's occurring there right yeah so now it's a mix of people but it can eventually get as people come in it's going to go oh those are entrepreneurs now we're going to do one just with entrepreneurs at that yeah. table and that oh, and that's where that's where the true power i think lies because each entrepreneur is asking questions around their business kind of side which applies to everyone and the healers will be asking questions that apply to everyone i mean yeah. it, it can still be that way but i, I think as we get more specific there's yeah. more there's more value and what i want to do is i want to reach out to healers and reach out to different people from not just yorkton but our surrounding area which expands to two hundred thousand people for sure and then what we want to do is if swan river i mean we can't go into manitoba right now because of the rules but say swan river there's got some pretty enlightened people there mm. all of a sudden our map can go to swan river mm. we can take it there mm. all we need is a round table for sure Sure. And I, I think even though we need the round table, we just put our legs up on our table. We eventually get ourselves one of those. They look like the Mercedes Bam Bam, but they're Ford and they have our name and the decals on it and everything. I think we just lease one with the hub factor and we come to you. I mean, you can hey. do parties, you could do uh, yeah. lots of things you can do. Yeah. So I think that that van might come up sooner than later. It could be a lease and oh. then we just get it. We get stuff put on it. What do you think? I think, I think you, I guess, looking at the cost, I mean, you'd have to do a sort of cost assessment in turn, and you'd have to see who, who of you, like there may be one of you that wants to go out and is, is really using it a lot. You know, I, I think you just have to do the numbers, right? I think if I, if I leased it, let's just say okay. I leased it and then I, I used it, everybody could use it, but then they pay for the use of it maybe. Right. So if they're taking the van out to to Regina, then they just pay for what it costs to use it. Right. Because at least it won't be that bad. No, I, I mean, again, I mean, if it's kind of like something like it costs, let's say, five hundred a month. Yeah. And 
I mean, I guess it depends on how many times it's used, right? I mean, if it's used yeah. once a day, that could be mm -hmm. like up to 20 days. And then if yeah. that's generating at least maybe 200 bucks a time, yeah. maybe 4,000 bucks, you know, that's, that's paying for itself plus some, right? I mean, and another thing, I mentioned this to my sister Shelly years ago. I was in Costa Rica and I met a guy there that had bought an old car and then he just went to businesses in Costa Rica and got them to put decals on it uh -huh. before you even dreamt of something like that. And you pay so much for a quarter panel or something like that. Well, the lease is double paid for itself. And I got my, I said to my sister, go get the most unique vehicle out there right now, lease it, and then go to businesses. I said, I'll buy a quarter panel. 200 bucks a month. I'm driving around all over town and my name's getting blasted everywhere. He never did do it. Do you know how many ideas I've given people and they've never jumped on it? Right. <laughs> so now this, I mean, you wouldn't want to get all kinds of people advertising on it, but because you'd want to kind of keep that in the hub and then maybe the different elements to what the hub is would be the advertising on it or the decals. Yeah, I, I think, you know, you, you'll figure it out as you go, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, I mean, it'd be kind of, I mean, it'd be kind of cool of the Enneagram, I guess, on the, I mean, mm -hmm. I guess, I, how is the, let's say, Saskatchewan market in relationship to the Enneagram as a symbol? Because I know sometimes, because if something's very Christian, that there yeah. isn't a... Well, because it, it came from the Judeo-mystic times, Right. I don't know, because I said to somebody, I didn't know if we wanted to even just say the word Enneagram, but you know what everybody's saying to me? Oh my God, it's all over Instagram and it's all over all this stuff, like copy and the Enneagram. And I think it's a total self-discovery tool and I think people are ready to discover themselves. So I don't know. I guess we could find out, couldn't I? Couldn't we? Yeah, well, I, well, I think if you use, I guess you're, your logo for the hub factor is very neutral. It's so, neutral, yeah. And so I, I would probably suggest that more in your marketing rather than the Enneagram symbol. Yeah. I just, I, you know, I just sort of made every mistake in the book. And, yeah. and uh, one of them that I didn't sort of take into account was just that if you're using this esoteric symbology, yeah. that people, you know, from certain worldviews have, have quite a negative judgment of it. And Isn't that something? it's it's life you know it's yeah yeah and that could happen in so many aspects so yeah we'll just continue to go with the hub factor and even though we show the map the hub fa factor map you're not seeing the enneagram in there but it can sure lead to the enneagram right mm. and to values mapping and stuff like that mm. okay. one thing I, I do if, if you can just kind of keep this, because I've had to get Christy, because she's overbearing. She was overbearing with the Dr. Node Smith yesterday. Yeah, guy told me he, he was very, um, almost like she was overbearing. And it, and she even, Carrie, Christy even said, she says, I felt that he shut down. So she's overbearing, she's loud. Well, you might, uh, what comes to mind is the two condo killers, intensity gap and overwhelm. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. That's what happened to him yesterday. So you might sort of, again, use the karma cards and, and have a feedback conversation. Oh, good idea. And ask, and when you're doing that, it's more, can I give you feedback? I have a little feedback conversation about yesterday. There's mm -hmm. a couple of karma okay. that I noticed that perhaps, you know, is, is part of something which you may or may not be aware of. And then... Yep. Do you think that the, like yesterday, the young kid that picked mentorship, he's in grade 11, he pulled over his convo card and it was a conversation killer and we don't have them mixed in with the convo cards. So then I was able to, they got, he pulled a conversation killer. And I said, well, I want to explain this to you. Here's what we used to do at LR Future. Everyone was on the same page with the conversation killer. And I said, I found out we had to put in a loony if we got caught in our conversation killer, we had to put a loony in the pot. And I said, I got caught with interruption constantly. Um, but it made me aware that I had to quit doing that because it wasn't fair to the rest of my team. Right. So that came up yesterday, even though we don't, I don't know how it got in there, but because we don't use it when we do the hub factor. Yeah. But it gave us an opportunity to leave it on the table. We got, he picked another card, but it gave us an opportunity to leave it on the table for people to go, conversation killers? Oh my goodness. Do you know how many decks of those we could sell in organizations? 
Huh. And we go in and we do a simple training, like we do a training session. I think we need to get those convo cards because I just saw that happen here quite a few times. Well, I mean, it makes sense that maybe uh, like a side thing, like I yeah. haven't printed it yet, that if you uh, yeah. if you had the decks at the hub factor mm -hmm. and then as they're leaving or as a thing say, we do have these for sale for $20 or something. Yes. Then that's yes. another sort of a, a way yeah. of- uh, It just gets people starting to touch into it and they go, we want more of this. Yeah. So Elijah, with those convo cards, like you'll find out, like to get a deck of them, how much they're gonna cost. We'll get just those little plastic containers at the dollar store. So they're in something. We'll put our label at the top of them or, or whatever. Yeah. And we'll go in and do training. So let's say someone's interested in it. Well, we come in and for this much money, it's a training session and deck of cards for you to use in your organization. Yeah. And that would be a start because it's totally non-threatening. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I'll, know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my printer and see okay. just the condo killers, what it would cost. Just the condo the killers for Like starters. about 100 decks or something like that. Yeah, I, you know what? If we have to get 100 decks, do it. Because yeah. then it'll force us. It'll force us to get moving with that shit. Okay. And then you figure out, so on those, then you figure out the percentage that stays with Elijah. Yeah. Or you do that on your end. Yeah. So you get wholesale and then you retail it to us because we're a member of yours kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like you wouldn't charge us I mean, what you would charge just a person buying one deck, right? No, no. Yeah, okay, well you figure that all out, Elijah, because we want to get rolling with this. And I think it's like the hub factor map. I just finally said, we got to do something. I'm inviting people to sit at this round table and that's now stirring up stuff. And I think the convo cards will do the same. For sure. The conversation killer cards. For sure. Okay. Okay. So that's because we're there just might be like crazy. another thing could be you could have a a weekly course or biweekly or monthly kind of thing could just a, a, a one hour two hour on condo killers. Yeah. And so they get a deck and then they get the training and maybe it's fifty dollars and maybe you're teaching you know you just go through the cards and we could come up with some fun exercises uh, of you know which ones you use which ones you don't. Um, Anyway, there's a lot of different little things we could do. Have a, have a two hour course. Yeah. And I think that's like with a lot of these tools, it's kind of like you're creating a repertoire as a facilitator of, of being able to teach and use any of them kind of thing. So um, just looking and at when you really learn though, when you really learn which one pertains to you more than ever is when you actually go through the process within an organization like I did. And we had them hanging on a center area. I had stickies and they hung on a wall in a center area. So everybody was on that same page. Right. So, I mean, and that could be a team coming to us, but it could also be us going to them. Right. Yeah. I mean, not right now with, with COVID, but still. Right. Okay, why don't we start there? Because I know we need cash flow. Right. And I mean, listening to Ki Christy, I says, good for you, Christy, that you're going through this. So that you know the people you're dealing with and what they're going through. Yes. Just, so, just so you guys are working on a workshop with her? Yeah, we're trying to help her get something going with mortgages. Okay. Yeah, we're talking, we're going to go talk, like Sylvia's got an in with all the immigrants. It's called the Newcomers Association. Uh -huh. if, even if we can start with the newcomers, do you know how they would just embrace this? And I know so much about money and finances, I could help them with lots of stuff too. For sure. But we bring them in with that non-threatening way. Okay, I've got an exercise for you. Do okay. you have your convo cards with you? I'm going to go get them. Like all of them or yeah. the killers? All, all of them. Okay, I'll go around. so organized with these cards okay i want you to go through them yeah and i want you to take out of the deck your top five the top five that you think you're the best at and you like the most mm -hmm. and then your bottom five the oh five that you never use want to use know you should use but or you use it and you're not that good at it oh 
okay. <coughs> so okay. I'll give you I'll give you a few minutes to do that, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just get a cup of tea and I'll come back in a bit. Yeah. I forgot to press record on that. That's <laughs> oh no, that's okay. Well, you and I'll remember. Yeah. Um, okay, because we we started a little bit late, so we could we could spend a little bit more time if you want. Yeah, but that's my fault. I got tied up with a client, so. Okay, so you're okay if we're. Yeah, I'm good for another five minutes. Okay. Okay, so I would also maybe go uh, plus 10 to minus 10. Another thing I did this yesterday. Oh, in each category? Yeah, like in each one of those conversations, oh. go plus 10 or minus 10 in each one. Oh, so okay. That's where you're at. I Did you. I did this with Kirsty yesterday, and I'm not sure if I've ever done with this with the value system. Yeah. With your flow wheel, mm -hmm. have you ever gone through each value and went, okay, minus 10, plus 10 to give yourself Never. a score? Never. Do, do you have your flow wheel with you right now? Mm, no, but I mean, I can. Okay. I don't, this, this is I don't know what it is offhand. Okay. Th this is some homework. Yeah. I want you to ask the question, like if you have boldness at marketing, I mean, boldness at strategies or something, mm -hmm. and you go, Okay, you know where? How much am I? How much am I putting this into practice? Mm -hmm. And then give me a number from minus ten to plus ten. Okay. And so you might get plus three, minus five, whatever it is. So go through, go through your flow wheel and do that for all of the values, and that that gives some really good feedback as to where that where you are at with it, that late and date it. Okay, and date it. So Elijah, I think like there's going to be a map around here because back in the day we made big ones but I'm trying to keep stuff kind of this size, like eight and a half by 11 for now, because they're easy to print off. They're everything for us to use. But I think we have them, because didn't you, did you send them all to all four? The flow, you Voice, mean? flow, harmony and synergy? I think I did, but as a 20 map. Oh, okay. Because I I haven't really introduced the others to the eight map. You you okay. like and you're sort of I think a little bit on the eight map because the, okay. the eight yeah. map and the nine map go together, but it's quite a jump to sort of have both. People are just okay. getting used to the nine map kind of thing, you know. Okay. okay. Yeah, it'll be somewhere. Like I just I, I'll find that actual flow map because even Christy, it was cool seeing her do that exercise with Sylvia yes right now, and then just little chunks of paper. Yeah. That was cool. Okay. Uh, flow map. I might have to get you to send me a flow map. Like I know I have a box of stuff from when Lorianne was working with me. Okay. I've just got to get through it all, Elijah, and get it organized. Okay. So if you don't mind, that would be great. Like I've got Let's these the ones. Map. Okay, yeah. But, but I don't have the choice flow. have you guys printed those out on 11 by 17s not yet but we'll get those done we did this one okay this one here we've okay. done that one okay yeah, so we, yeah. If, so each, got if, them done. if each of you prints those out mm -hmm. that's going to be pretty important for the next round oh so you said those maps that those four that i just showed you okay yeah okay so yeah if you could send me those choice flow synergy harmony See, here's that wheel that Carrie and I are using in the Dare to Be You, and it's just different areas of your life. Right. Just to get people thinking in that. We recreated it, but it's just something to say, what area of your life are you lacking in? What area have you got mastered? And then what do you want to work on? It's money, health and fitness, spiritual, happiness and fun, family, relationships, personal development, and career. That's nice. Do you want to send that to me? Maybe I can yeah. make a nice version of it. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so I can just forward. That your is that your own map or somebody else's or no? We created it. Okay, awesome. It's gone. Okay. Okay. So okay, I'll do my values and then I will do the flow wheel. If you can send that to me and I could just print myself one off. Because I'm not about drawing it and everything. I like to actually use that beautiful map and then do my stuff on the map. Right. Um I would like Right now, one of the main things we're doing is we want to get, sort of like get the schedule of the hub down pat, yeah. uh, like over a period of a year, yeah. and then have each of you look at your ideal schedules and then start to sort of frame in who gets what time and who's doing what in the ideal version. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So at some point, what we want as soon as possible 
is that ideal like what i see is the front wall on your right mm -hmm. we should do a 28 day schedule there and we should put a big schedule so people could just walk in and see all the available things oh they well that's where we're going to put the members that's no, where we're gonna... no i would i would the, the big wall on the right i would say is the big map that's telling everyone what's happening okay so oh, okay. people just walk in they can see it through the window and they go they can just walk in and go okay i see like there's a meditation group there there's a, this thing like at some point you want like a schedule for the for the like a 20 day schedule of the hub okay all the events that are happening and then you put that out once every full moon or something and that's your that's like your schedule to the oh. world saying this is what we're doing okay and you know we've got pretty big windows here we could create a schedule right on the window so when people walk by they're seeing it could do that too that might be better that might be better because you don't even have to be in you can be walking you know how many people walk by here because they pick up their kids from taekwondo right right okay so i'll mention that to the girls because you're right every 28 days to do with the moon cycle you said yeah okay that would be a sylvia thing like she will put this together like we just have to give her the ideas on what to put in it and i think I, I was thinking what i might do is i might uh like if I was given the space and I could, and I was let, let's say the director could do anything I wanted, yeah. I'll come up with a, a pro, uh, like a set of programs, mm -hmm. send that as kind of like my ideal. And then, oh, okay. and then you can compare that. Cause I, I, there's some probably ideas I have that you haven't thought of in terms of classes and programs. For and things, sure. Right? So if you, and then, and then when you come down here, that's why I don't want to put a, do a whole bunch of stuff in here because you're going to be coming and taking that old yoga studio and these different areas and going, here's what needs to be here. Here's what needs to be here. Okay. Because I think once, because I've got, I don't know, another 10 tables or. Do you? I mean, yeah. Like prototypes, all different from the one you have. So, I mean, essentially I've been waiting for a community communication center to bring it into. So, I mean. Yeah. To me if i brought that and then like again you could have a, a table in different rooms all going at the same time right you could have four right. facilitators and like I'm, I'm looking to max it out right like to really yeah. utilize that time well okay so we are like a communication center you're exactly right like the hub is like a communication center and it yeah. it goes out to all areas sure. of your life okay. thing, it might be uh like to invite another thing you could have is like a, a weekly time where you invite organizations to bring their people to sit at the hub factor and do a brainstorm like it could be the you know the 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 weekly organizational brainstorm and so then you schedule 12 organizations in a row and each week there's a different organization oh that's that would amazing. be cool that's a no-brainer to me that, that's a no-brainer yeah that's a no-brainer so and then of course with the limits so they can only have 10 people plus if two or three of us are here so they bring themselves and seven people in. okay okay and so that's and again the the beginning of it can start here but as they lift their limitations you can have different tables you can always just like you start with one table but then at some point you got five four tables each one of you is facilitating a different table at the same time and then afterwards you have a nice little uh <clears throat> barbecue or like a feast or yeah. you know fun like i think you gotta you gotta do the the teaching and then have the fun or have the yeah. ability to socialize and stuff like that oh, and christy's husband for father's day is going to do something out back because we have a beautiful back area and he's going to do like barbecue tips and we'll have some picnic tables set up and they come out and they can come into the hob and they can stand outside there and get barbecue tips oh nice you can have way more people outside okay send me for could you could you send me photos of all the rooms? Okay. And I don't know, do you have blueprints at all? You know what? I don't know. I got to find them. I had this building appraised years ago and they used to have a, a print of everything, but I'll double check. I can find that. When do you'll know? Because if you, if you sort of give me the dimensions of the room that okay. would be beside the office, then I might start to, to put that on paper, sort of like the ideal of what I would want to do there to set it up oh, right. Okay. Because okay. there's this idea of a communication room where there's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it runs, it runs the shared knowledge community. Oh, right. It has like, here's your daily, here's your weekly, here's your yearly, here's your present moment. Mm 
And so the four of you would sit at these workstations, each contemplating different maps that are your primary maps in front of you. So okay. it's probably like you'd be sort of like the, the eight, you know, you're doing the promotions, you're doing the, all the marketing all the time. While Sylvia was, it would probably be doing the uh, seasonal events that are occurring. So she's organizing all the different event stuff coming yeah. up. While Kirstie's doing the daily, day, let's say operations yeah. and uh, uh, the, the long-term, you know, lifetime and yearly is, is in the design corner kind of thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So dimensions of room, like sizes and pictures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, somewhere there is that, like you, if you walked through here, because you never were upstairs, you, when you were here, you just stayed in the suite. But you, you did walk around once and kind of show me, yeah. so I have a bit of an idea. It's like the same, but. Yeah. And we got that one girl moving out, so that's kind of cool. How coincidental that she's moving out, so. And when does she leave? She leaves the end of the month, but she was contacted, someone around, we had COVID around her, so she's got a two-week chest stay home, so she's moving out the first week in May. Okay, so I think that's good. We're good. I'm going to go do my values right now with that. And then you said homework, do a flow wheel with a minus plus. So it's funny you say that because on that map that I just sent you, the one that Carrie and I created, that's exactly what we do in five, one to five. Where do you feel you are in that part of your life? So that when I, they draw. I might add it to the minus 10 and plus 10. Yes. Five isn't quite big enough to sort no, of. No, you're right. Spectrum. Do it in 10. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Elijah, you have a great day. And I know you're on with Carrie tomorrow at noon. Okay. Were you on with Sylvia already today? Um, no, Sylvia's, cha Sylvia's changed. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. Tomorrow. Both Sylvia and Carrie are tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. And we, you know what Christy noticed yesterday because she wanted to be in the conversation after? It was overwhelming for her because she went from there to here with you. So I think she might shift herself to later on a Tuesday. Okay. Not right after our hub factor, yeah. if that works with you. That she mentioned it yesterday. And I, I think, I think you, uh, you know, you're kind of like the fly in the wall or like the feedback mechanism. I understand that a lot of the stuff I can do can be quite transformative, and and I, I don't quite reckon realize how much right. sometimes. So you might want to just let me know when to ease up a bit and yeah. and uh, take it easy a bit because yeah. I, I understand that. I, I, I can, I can have an impact sometimes. Yeah, well, and you do, you definitely do. But when you're sitting around the hub factor and doing that, and then step into that, that's a lot for newbies. And yet she's catching on like I've never seen anyone catch on. Yeah, I, I mean, she's wonderful. I think she'll do Holy great. Shit. Yeah. So, okay, we just need to allow her to take this money issue and just let it. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, both of you, I think it's good. You know, each person at some point gets the focus of the team to get going and then everyone is helping everyone out. Right. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to go finish with them and I will get this and I'll take a picture of these two maps and my flow map for you. Look at my palm, how itchy it is. Is that getting or giving? Uh, I think that's oh. giving. No? I think it's getting. Getting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, my hand is so freaking itchy as I'm saying that. <laughs> okay, Elijah, this is fun. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. This is more fun than my 27 years of working in a job. <laughs> okay, have a good one. Bye, my friend.